on all my children. In the end, you'll see that I'm right. That is, if Nina survives what you're putting her through. Oh, she will. She's a Cortland. She'll survive. If anything happens to her, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. And on One Life to Live, Karen is caught between two loves. Steve, the man who wants her. I just need some time to think. And Larry. I can't lose you. Afraid to love again. All My Children, One Life to Live, weekdays. Sunday. The basic thrust and goals of our policy are unchanged. Are you a victim of the Federal Reserve's economic policies? Watch the Money Masters and ABC News close up. Then. You just drop your investigation. It's a prescription for murder when Matt Houston unmasks a deadly operator. <laughs> then a nuclear warship travels back in time to Pearl Harbor. You still think it's a dream? It's a nightmare. The final countdown. Watch Sunday on ABC. Magical musical at the Mark Hellinger Theater. Call Charger today at 944-9300. Order tickets now before they disappear. The frigid cold, how long will it last at five? Oh, hi, Spencer. You look nice. Thank you. Uh, you know if Gunther picked up Valerie yet? Not yet, but I'm ready to leave, Sky. Good. I'm sure you'll go on out and have a nice time and you'll enjoy yourself. Are you going to enjoy yourself tonight, Sky? Of course I am. <clears throat> Valerie's coming over. She's a very charming, no, sweet no, no. younger. That's not what I mean. What's going on around here, Sky? There are funny things happening. I can't figure it out. Well, then don't try, Spencer. The last couple of weeks, I got the impression that you and Raven were getting very close. That you might even be a, a permanent item. Yeah, that's an idea that you did not approve of, huh? It doesn't matter what I think. I would like to know what's on your mind, though. That's very simple. I'm having an attractive blonde come over for dinner in the privacy of my own home. And I'm going to dinner for four, including Raven Alexander? I'm sure that you're going to have a nice time, Spencer. I mean, as near as I can tell, you seem to be quite attracted to Ian Devereaux's young sister. Sky, you know damn well I wouldn't have accepted that invitation except for you. I'm only going because you told me to go. You needed some rest and relaxation, Spencer, even if I did have to order you to take it. That's not the reason, Sky. You want me to spy. I'm going to that party so I can report back to you about Ian and Raven. Didn't you say that dinner started at 8? If I were you, I'd get going. It only says one thing to me, Sky. You're still interested in Raven, but something happened. Was it uh, a fight? Lovers quarreled? It... All right, never mind. I can see you'd rather not talk about it. Now you're being smart. Now go on out. Have a nice time. Close the door behind you. Good night, Scott. Spencer. What is it, Nora? I have to talk to you. It's important. I'm on my way out. I have to ask you something. It's about that man that was here with my car to see Mr. Whitman. What about him? His name is Cameron, right? Who is he? What do you know about him? I have no idea, and if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Well, you better find out. You better find out soon, because your whole future might be at stake. What the hell are you talking about? If I heard him correctly, things are going to be changing around here pretty fast. You heard him say what? Were you eavesdropping on that meeting? No, of course not. It was after the meeting. Uh, well, uh, he was making a phone call. I just happened to be near the... Oh, I bet you were. I didn't mean to listen to him. I was just made up Gunther's bed. I was on my way to the laundry room. You're not a housekeeper, Nora. You are nothing but a damn spy. <laughs> it's funny. It's very funny, considering what I just heard. I don't care what you just heard. So, I'm not the only spy around here. of Night is brought to you by Mountain Grown Folgers, Mountain Grown Coffee, the richest kind, and by April Fresh Downy, America's favorite fabric softener. Mary, I can't present my sales plan today. Why not? This collar's scratching me. But I used a fabric softener. Get him another shirt. Huh? The one you softened last wash with Downy, not with those dryer sheets. Downy softens better all the way through inside the collar. 
And where's that nice, fresh smell? Try this. Look, dryer brands can only soften here and there where they touch. But Downy softens through and through. And only Downy rinses in April freshness while it makes static cling almost disappear. This shirt feels great, hon. And smells terrific. Forget something? Oh, what would I do without you? And Downy. Through and through, Downy softness. A noticeable improvement. Mmm, what do you use in the automatic tip coffee maker? Folgers Flake Coffee. Mm, delicious. What do you use in the automatic coffee maker? Folgers Flake Coffee. Green. Mrs. Olson, what do you use? Oh, Folgers Flake Coffee. You have things better than these coffee makers. Why is that? Oh, Folgers is mountain grown. The richest kind of coffee. And it's flake? Flake to release more rich flavor. You use less. If you normally use five makers, you'll only need four of Folgers Flake Coffee. Delicious. <laughs> Folgers is a coffee recommended by General Electric with the Bruce Carter Timer. Mountain grown Folgers. That's how good coffee makers make great coffee. Something that I mixed and matched. What time's Gavin picking up for dinner? Uh, I said around 7.30. We don't really have any big plans tonight. Probably just go to Sid's, maybe get some pizza. What about your dinner plans? Oh, just catch as catch can. I guess Miles doesn't really feel like going out tonight, huh? No, no, he doesn't. What is he doing? Still working in the study? <laughs> well, he's in no real condition to work at the moment. Well, he didn't drink anymore, did he? Yes drink most of that bottle. But, you know, I don't think it's anything we should worry about because everybody's entitled to a binge now and then, aren't they? Right, and he certainly is, especially after what happened today. Yeah, it was not today I'm worried about as much as tomorrow, the fact that he has to explain himself to that medical review. Board. I know, I know. Can you think of a worse coincidence? Of all the people he has to fight with, he has to be a guy on the medical board. Well, I'm sure that Mr. Everett Cooper thought it was his duty to talk to Miles because of his position. If you ask me, Mr. Cooper should have picked a fight with his wife. Why? You didn't believe she was lying. I am just appalled at what some people will do. <laughs> this just goes to prove that Nora Fulton isn't the only vicious person in the world. Do you want to go in and, and, and check on Miles? No. Last time I checked on him, he was dozing at his desk. Good evening. Oh, Gavin, hi. Hi. Guess you're not doing the news tonight, huh? No, no, I'm not. George Hammond's taking over for me, thank heaven. Ah, uh, just my luck. Just when I have a big scoop to deliver. Oh, good. What about? Well, the management of Sid's Tavern is changing hands, and you'll never guess who the new management team is. <laughs> it's none other than Mitzi and Poppy Johnson. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Sid gave Mitzi her half of the business. Eddie gave Poppy his half of the business. And now they're uh, partners, whether they like it or not. I'm sure they're gonna love it. I mean, Mitzi has been talking about getting into the restaurant business. Yeah, I just hope she can. I'm not so sure she has the showbiz bug out of her system yet. Well, I think that's terrific. Yeah, for them, yeah. But uh, I'm not so sure about the poor customers. I mean, uh, <laughs> Sid knew something about cooking. I'm not hey, sure about those two. Kevin, oh. how are you? Oh, <laughs> I thought I heard the happy sound of human voices of... Put that there. That's always been there. Somebody is always moving the furniture around here. The only piece of furniture you need right now is a bed. A bed? What? Uh, it's about ten of eight, and I think Jody and I should be going. Hey, no, no, no. Come on, stay for one drink. Huh? No, Miles, we, we really oh, Come on, it's one little drink for old Lang Syne. Well, my rushing season would have been, huh? Old Lang Syne, Christmas is coming, kids. Come on. Got to start thinking about our Christmas list. Christmas lists. Ooh, that's a real tongue twister, huh? Oh, you know, I haven't even begun to think about Christmas yet. I always get around to it later and later each year. And the stores think of it early and earlier. Oh, Bennett's no. had their Christmas decorations up a week before Thanksgiving. Well, I don't feel like it's Christmas until the trees. Well, then let's all get in the mood. Here's to peace on earth. Goodwill to men. God knows men could stand to have a little goodwill. So could women. The oddest locomotive engineer I've ever seen. Aha. Uh -huh. That's because you don't know us locomotive engineers. We're a polished, 
civilized bunch who like the finer things in life. Oh, aren't you clever? You know, I think if you had your way, we'd have the entire dinner party in here. Here's to crime. To the evening. I hope it comes up to your expectations, and I hope your friend Spencer enjoys himself. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't wild about coming. I invited him, he turned me down, and then he called back to accept. Perhaps he thought it over, realized how much he'd like to see you again. Perhaps. You know, I'm curious about you two. You were obviously hot and heavy for each other when you were Mrs. Bowie. But then it all cooled off after the old geezer kicked the bucket. Now, why was that? Was it because it was no longer illicit? All the fun went out of it. I see you intend to keep it private. Why should I talk about my relationships when you don't talk about yours? Well, what would you like to know? For starters, do you intend to marry Raven Alexander? Now, what makes you think she'll have me? <laughs> Frankly, I don't think she would if she knew your real profession. Locomotive engineer. Mm -mm. Spy, darling, if you'll allow me to use the forbidden word. I think you better check on that restaurant, Camilla, make sure the reservations are in order. Ian, you can't possibly think about marrying again until you are willing to tell the truth. You can't fool a wife any more than you can fool a sister. But then again, I don't think you're going to have much problem. I think I know what would happen if you proposed to Raven. What? She'd be delighted. That would give her the bargaining chip she needs to force the hand of your friend, Skylar Whitney. My, my. We are on top form tonight, aren't we, my little nest of vipers? Perhaps I better check on that restaurant reservation myself. <laughs> Inside that little Hershey's kiss is the big, big taste of chocolate. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the chocolate we all love. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the big, big taste of chocolate. Hershey's kisses, that little mouthful of chocolate everybody loves, wrapped in all the colors of Christmas. Inside this little Hershey's kiss is the chocolate we all love. Enjoy your dinner. And if you see Mitzi, congratulate her for me. Right. Oh, yeah, we will. Um, Nicole, do you think Miles is going to be all right? Sure, of course. I think you better have his supper soon. Oh, I intend on feeding him. Don't worry. Okay, well, uh, I'll see you in a little while, and you try not to worry too much. Oh, okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, what do you say we talk about dinner? Oh, no, not yet. Got a little thinking to do before dinner. Can't think on a full stomach. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I gotta decide what to do tomorrow, what to uh, tell the medical control board. Well, I think you should tell them the truth. Right. Damn right, tell them the truth. Well, look, confession is good for the soul. Might as well just admit the fact that I became a doctor just so I could meet beautiful women. Oh, my. Oh, come on, it's the truth. Doctors get to meet lots of pretty women get their confidence, get their clothes off. Very funny. <laughs> Look, that's what the medical board is going to want to hear. Why don't I just tell it to them? Miles, if you keep drinking, you're not even going to make it to that meeting. That was an idea. Don't go to the meeting. Why should I? Because. Because you have to. I don't have to do any such thing. They're the one who wants to bring charges against me, so why don't I just let them go to the police? Let the police arrest me, the mad rapist of Miles... Ah! Don't, don't ruin no, your it's handkerchief. All done. It's all done. It's all done. Put this in my pocket tomorrow. Let the medical board get a good whiff of that. That's, that they will really enjoy. Miles Cavanaugh, rapist and drunk. Well, let's face it, you are just a little bit drunk. Well, see, that's the problem. It's just a little bit. Well, come on, please don't. <laughs> Just have to refill what I just spilled, don't I? Didn't tell you something. I hired a new nurse today. Oh, you did? Yes. Little Billy Phipps is her name. Billy Phipps, isn't that sweet? Sweet little thing. Ten minutes on the job, she was looking at me as if I was a cobra about to attack her. 
surprised she'd heard about the stories. Her, everybody's heard about the stories, Nicole. Good news travels so fast around this town. Well, if Billy Phipps took the job, she couldn't be that worried about your reputation. Well, why not? It's a good job. It's a really easy little job. You know, the phone didn't ring one time today. Correction. Rang two times. Both times people canceling appointments. This rate, I'm not going to have any patients. No appointments, no patients. You think it's my breath? Well, I wouldn't go breathing around any open fireplaces right now if I were you. I'm losing my patience. Is that a good one? Losing my patience. Miles, don't drink anymore. What? Please. It's hard enough for you to handle one or two, and you've already had half a dozen. You losing patience, too, Nicole? Well, come on, I'm just worried about you. You know that getting drunk isn't going to help solve any problems. You losing your patience? Hmm? I just, I find it very hard to understand why all these people are believing these stories about so you. So many people, too many people. What about you? What about what? Come on, you can tell old nice Doc Miles. Now, don't you just have the little tiniest notion that maybe one of these stories is true? Oh, come on, don't be so silly. No, I'm not, I'm not being silly. Just, just answer me. Don't you have one little kind of doubt, some feeling that maybe something is true? Come on, you can tell me. Confession is very good for the soul. Miles, that is the most unfair question you have ever asked. Well, I'm not, me. not unfair. Why, the, why the hell did you see Barbara, my, my nurse, if it wasn't just to check on me, find out what I was doing? No, I'm sorry. No question. Sorry. Sorry. Ask no evil here, no evil tell. I don't know how Miles, that goes. Miles, don't! I'm just gonna have one. No, I won't let you. I, no! There's a doctor around here. Well, the doctor's using the wrong prescription. I'm not gonna let you get any worse. Now, come on, is this nice? How often do, do I get a chance to just be a little nice and mellow? Mellow? Another couple of minutes, you're gonna be flat and drunk on the floor. Mrs. Cavanaugh, I'd like another drink. Well, Mrs. Cavanaugh says that the bar is closed. All right. All right. <clears throat> I know some bars that are open. Nope. When you discover the cleaner feeling upset, you're gonna be feeling your best. That's just different from soap. In water, you can see the tacky film soap leaves even after rinsing. Zest doesn't. Deodorant Zest is specially made to rinse without leaving sticky film. Nothing comes between me and feeling so clean. I feel my best. Discover the cleaner feeling of zest. You're gonna be feeling your best. I'm feeling my best. If you wash this dirty shirt once, would it look as white as this new shirt? I don't think so. Bertie McDonald washed that dirty shirt in Oxidol with bleaching crystals. Now, can she pick out the Oxidol shirt from new shirts? I am surprised. I'm very surprised. Why? They all are so white. All the shirts are so white. That is your shirt. I will buy some Oxidol. It really works. Try Oxidol with bleaching crystals for a white that compares to new. Well, howdy. What you got there, youngster? An old piece of Mom's kitchen tile. Good grief. This tile's the color my floor used to be, but look at the difference. That's cause this ground in dirt stuck in those little crevices. You need speak and span every time. But is it safe? For no wax? Sure. It cleans into crevices and lifts out ground in dirt that dulls your floor's color. Beautiful, Minnie. <laughs> nice going, Ma. Speak and span every time helps show your floor's true colors. This is great. This is great. This is even better than your wonderful computer. Spencer, <laughs> how is your employer doing? Oh, he's fine. Hmm. Is he all over that virus? Back to normal. Raven, have you seen him lately? Oh, what? I beg your pardon? Your friend Sky. Didn't you drop in on him when he was ill? Whatever gave you that idea? I could have sworn Ian said something to that effect. Oh, well, uh, I think I did stop by and give him a get-well card. You know, Spencer, we really should have invited him to dinner tonight. Chandler has a date this evening. Really? 
Well, I think I've bored you all to distraction with my little hobby. What say we kill this bottle of champagne and move on to the restaurant? Oh, what a wonderful idea. I need some more anyway. You know, we could have made that reservation for six. The reservation was for four. So tell me, Spencer, um, who is it that Sky is having dinner with tonight? Not that cute young thing that I met here. You think Valerie Bryson is cute? I, I'm sorry, I just I find her so boring. But she is pretty. She's very pretty. You know, in that, that bleach blonde kind of way. I think she's very pretty. Oh. So, um, where are they going, do you know? Nowhere. They're dining at home this evening. Mm. Well, he didn't say that much about the theater itself, but I imagine it's going to need some renovation just as the Whitney did. Fortunately, Jim has a lot of experience at that right now, thanks to you. Well, I'm glad I was able to do him some small favor. Oh, Sky, you did him a lot more than that. If it weren't for you and the Whitney, he would have never have gotten his job offer in New York. All right. I did him a large favor then. I just hope I didn't do you a large disservice. Why do you say that? Well, as you said, um, I'm partially responsible for Jim being in New York, and I know that the two of you were good friends. We are good friends. And that's why I'm so happy for him. You're happy he's in New York? I didn't say that. You're happy he's got a nice job? Yes. This is a dream come true for Jim. I mean, this is a kind of an opportunity you just can't turn down. I might have been able to. Did I tell you that I heard from him? No. Yeah, I got a letter. He, uh, very nice letter, as a matter of fact. He recommended Gavin Wiley succeed him as producer. Oh, thank you. Well, I think that's an excellent idea. Gavin would make a good producer. Sounds like the ideal solution. Very well, let's settle then. Just on my say-so? I'm not sure. I mean, I respect your opinion. Does that surprise you? Yes, a little. Why? Well, you haven't sought my opinion or my company for some time. I, I took you to the opening. Yes, you did. However, I have to admit I got the feeling that our date was a sort of afterthought. No offense. No offense. Are you wrong? It, it wasn't an afterthought. It's just I've been very busy. I haven't had the chance to see you as much as I would have liked to. I, I mean, I bought WMON TV. I, I've been spending a lot of time there. I see. And there is a, another reason, a very important reason, but uh, he's in New York now. You mean Jim? Of course. That must have been a very difficult decision for him to make between a career that he loved and a woman. Sky, the choice was not that clear cut. Do you mind if I be honest with you for a moment? Not at all. I'm glad that he made that choice. And I find that a little strange. No. Why? It's my turn to be honest, okay? Okay. Well, I know you've been busy, but not just with WMON. I had the distinct impression that you've been very busy with R-A-V-E-N. Well, it's not Raven who's here now with me. And it's not Raven that I'm taking into my arms. Charlene Paoli. I started getting my sinus headaches in my early teens. Describe the pain. Pain Pressure. is caused from a pressure in my head, and it's constant. It sounds like sinusitis. Introducing maximum strength Tylenol sinus medication, maximum sinus decongestant, combined with maximum sinus pain reliever. I feel so much better you can't imagine. The pressure's gone. It's good. It's really good. New maximum strength Tylenol sinus medication, maximum sinus medicine for maximum sinus pain relief. Tell you not to kiss a woman before dinner. 
<laughs> no, my mother never told me that. Why would she? Well, because it takes one's mind off dinner. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, really, I think I should make myself presentable, so excuse me. Don't be long. It's very, very important. I've got a dinner guest, Nora. I don't want to hear about your housekeeping problems. It's not about the house. It's about you. Save it, Nora. You can tell me about it in the morning. It's about something I, I heard tonight. Something that may be absolutely vital for you to hear about. Nora! It's about that, that man that was here before. The man named Cameron. What about him? I, uh... I overheard a telephone conversation he was having. I, I, it was accidental. I, I was... Save looking. the alibis. Tell me what you heard. Well, you're speaking very secretively. But I heard him say that they think you may be a spy. I'll call you back. Joey! Not chocolate! And your mom's due on practically now. I need something fast. Not there. Where is it? Oh, the 409. It's fast. 409's powerful grease dissolvers cut grease fast. Now you stay there. 409, so effective it starts to work before you start to wipe. Amazing. Joey didn't make any mess. Joey's a doll. Formula 409, it starts to work before you start to wipe. And now save money with our new replacement bottle. Yuck. Mm -hmm. Better call the plumber. Yeah, that's a bad clog. Better call the plumber. Probably soap and hair. Better call, call the plumber. plumber. Not that plumber. Liquid plumber is the plumber to call for clogs. Watch how liquid plumber drain opener works on tough clogs like hair. Its heavy-duty power totally liquefies the clog. So for tough clogs like hair... Better call, call the plumber. plumber. Better call liquid plumber. This is David Hartman. Next week, Alexander Haig, Billy Graham, Angie Dickinson, and The Who... Also, all week, Dustin Hoffman on Good Morning America. And tonight, Benson's in the middle of a wild game of cops and robbers when he tries to catch the crook who cleaned out his condo. Then Oscar and the gang bring a touch of crass to the opening of Felix's fancy French restaurant on the new Odd Couple. After, the terrors of the past refuse to die when a child returns from the grave to claim her family one by one. Dennis Weaver, Valerie Harper, and Ruth Gordon star in Don't Go to Sleep, on the ABC Friday Night Movie. Tonight on ABC's World News Tonight, will that cute Christmas pet be a headache in January? You shouldn't bring an animal into your home that you couldn't truly care for. Roger Karras tells how to ensure that your gift of love isn't a tragic mistake. ABC News, uniquely qualified to bring you the world. The award-winning play, Steaming. Provocative, funny, and real. For tickets, call Charge It. Good afternoon, I'm John Johnson. Coming up on the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News, a chunk of a wing falls off a jet line and lands on a house in Queens. We'll have a full report and this. If the cold weather's making you sick, we've got some tips to make you feel better. I'm Maxine Black. I'll have that story. Also, things to do to save yourself a lot of money at tax time. Consumer Counselor Phyllis Eliasberg will have a report. And children come to the aid of the Statue of Liberty and Eyewitness News gets a town its Christmas lights at 5. As the holidays grow closer, there is so much to do and so little time. You need Byright. Byright has a terrific selection. With over 130 locations in the metropolitan area, there's bound to be a Byright near you. We save money at Byright. During the holidays, that's even more important. Happy holidays from your neighborhood Byright store. When it comes to gift giving, I buy right at buy right. <laughs> for as she grows.
and Julienne food the revolutionary way with a daisy stripper. It quickly peels all types of food and reduces waste. An exclusive cutter cuts onion rings in just minutes. The daisy stripper with five replaceable blades and dust cover, only $27.99 from Thrifty. Chick realizes women come in all shapes and sizes. That's why jeans by Chick are proportioned to fit from leg to waist, hip to hip. Whether you're a sweet petite, long and lean, or in between. Don't you know? Chick's got your jeans. Chick jeans. In 27 sizes, because Chick realizes that jeans should come in all shapes and sizes. Now, a $5 rebate on the world's best-fitting jeans.